So time to reflect on the results in the New Hampshire primary. It is a big deal, by the way. And the pundits said Hillary Clinton would cut into Bernie Sanders' lead, probably lose in single digits. In fact, Bernie Sanders won by 22 percentage points. And he actually won women, not just younger women, women by about seven points. Hillary won among women over 65 significantly, and people have made over $200,000 a year. Not exactly pillars in the Democratic constituency. People made under 50000 flocked to Bernie. Kids flocked to Bernie. He won by a landslide, which indicates uh, Hillary Clinton's inability to connect. Also, in the one category on honest and trustworthiness, Bernie was at 95% to 5% for Hillary. Could it be that all the baggage, all the negative press over years, the saga with her husband through the decades is catching up? That people don't believe Hillary because, of course, she took money from Goldman Sachs, Wall Street contributors in big amounts, big amounts for giving speeches and has yet to release the transcripts of those speeches. So Bernie's whole campaign about honest government and small donors and not taking super PAC money or anything like that is working against Hillary. If people don't believe you, she could talk about her days with the Children's Defense Fund or she would protect innocent people back in their days as a lawyer in the 60s. It doesn't matter. Nobody will care because people won't be listening. Also, the fact that Bill got surly last week, went after uh, Bernie aggressively, didn't work. Bernie wins by 22 points. Now, as Bernie tries to reach out to the African-American community, breakfast in Harlem with Al Sharpton, rumors of an endorsement by Harry Belafonte, and other inroads, who's to say if it couldn't flip? And if that foundation cracks, the Clinton campaign may be in panic mode. On the Republican side, Trump wins big, over the whole field in New Hampshire with 35% of the vote, multiple candidates. He's leading by 20 in South Carolina, leads by more than that in Florida and other southern states. Who beats Trump? As long as nobody drops out of the race, Trump wins. My two cents, my two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants. Bill McCoshin, lobbyist who work for Tommy, who knows how to get things done. We can talk about this and more on the radio tomorrow at 8 on 92.1 FM, The Mike. The Mitch Hank Show. Talk to you then.